Hello there guys, it's CoolFoxfur here and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of the Photo Pro standard tripod. So on the sides here you have some schematics, for example you can use this with your phone, camera or even a GoPro or some other type of action camera. You also have another schematic of how to put in the phone holder. Here you also have a few features listed down. Here you have the dimensions and also the weight of the tripod itself and basically that's all that you will find. So now opening up the box you will find the tripod inside and apart from that everything is inside this case so there is nothing else inside of the box itself. Opening up this case you will be greeted by the tripod itself and apart from that you have a few extras here such as the quick release plate, a few extra knobs and also the foam holder. So first off once you remove the plastic bag over the tripod you will find a small little manual which is made in Chinese and also English inside. And here if you want you can read this but obviously it is very self explanatory except for the fact that there is a Bluetooth remote control included with this tripod so we will obviously take a look at that later on. So first off taking a look at the tripod itself, here you can see that it is all made out of metal. Now obviously this is pretty cheap metal so you should not expect this to be super durable since this is like any other cheap generic tripod that you can find and even the head here you can tell that it is all made out of plastic. So if you use it like this and with a phone, it will be smooth so there is nothing to worry about. But if you're going to use it with a DSLR or something heavier, I would suggest looking somewhere else if you want those super smooth motions. Apart from that here you have a little tightener so you can obviously loosen this or make it tighter. And this will change how much it moves from left to right. So this of course will change the panning tightness. And obviously if you unlock it, it will be a lot smoother. Also on top here you have the quick release plate and obviously as I said before you also get an extra quick release plate which is really good but obviously what you need to do is just pop this off and then remove the quick release plate. Now this can go into your DSLR or into the phone holder whichever one you want to use and then to put it back on all you need to do is align it with the grooves themselves, open up the latch and close it tightly so that it is securely in place. Here you also have a bubble head which shows you if the tripod is level or not which is always good to have on a tripod like this. Obviously here you have the panning tightener and loosener so this will change how tight or how loose it is in panning. Also here you have another knob that if you twist it and unlock it you will see that this can move and basically come at a 90 degree angle. So this can be useful if you're doing portrait photography. Apart from that here you also have another knob which will extend the tripod head. So as you can see you have a pretty wide range of extension which is also really good to have on a tripod at this size. Apart from that here you have the Photo Pro logo and here in the middle you also have a little label which tells you how to adjust it. But nonetheless all you need to do is unlock this and these will pop out. So all you need to do to mount on the phone holder is first off pop the quick release plate and then all you need to do is basically screw on this or this thread onto the quick release plate and either way you do it you can always adjust it because the head itself can obviously tilt as I said before. So there you go now it is, it is fully on there and all you need to do is grab your phone and put it inside of the phone holder itself. After that you can very easily pop on the quick release plate and there you have the phone on and it is actually very sturdy to do this and obviously as you can see I did put it on backwards but nonetheless you can obviously change the orientation of the phone however you like. So now moving on to the supplied Bluetooth device all you need to do is open up the bag. So as you can see here on the top you do have a battery installed which is actually really good since these batteries are pretty pricey but apart from that all you find is the shutter button which acts as the shutter button for the phone and also a little switch on the side so there as you can see you also have a small LED and it just turned on to indicate that now it is searching to pair with a device and here as you can see it found it automatically as PT4 and it connected right up so going into the camera application and pressing the button, it should take a photo. And to do this, I found that the best way to do it is to hold it down for around a second and then it will take a photo. 
For some reason, pressing it once will not take a photo sometimes, as you can see right now. So I'm going to move just so you know that it will take a photo. And as you can see, it was actually very delayed. If you hold it down, it is not as delayed, which is good. But nonetheless, it still works, just not as well as you would anticipate. So basically, that is all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. This was Cool Fox, and I'm out. Peace.